Okay, in this uh, section we'll show you how to uh, basically create a client map between the D400 and the UR uh, software. Uh, basically we have a UR set up for DMP communication and we've got contact inputs uh, mapped into the DMP communication. Uh, just to show you how the contact inputs will change. So here I'm going to change point number five, point number six, to on, point number seven to on, point number eight to on. Okay, and then we can switch it back to off. So contact number five off, contact number six off, contact number seven off, number eight. Okay, and uh, I'm going to show you the configuration that we did very quickly in uh, under products, communication, uh, DMP protocol. So you can see the DMP setup here. You can see the IP address of the DMP setup. You can also see the DMP point list. And in the point list of the DMP, we only have mapped four digital inputs. There is no uh, analog inputs with this, which is those four uh, digital inputs that we did. Okay, so you can see contact input number five, contact input number six, contact input number seven, contact input number eight. Now, this will translate to the D400 as point number one, or sorry, point number zero, point number one, point number two, point number three. Okay, so the D400 will pull the UR relay for point number zero, point number one, point number two, and point number three. The UR relay will, of course, send contact input number five, number six, seven, and eight. Okay, so how do we do that? This is the D400 interface. I'm not going to take you through the login. That's, that has been already uh, recorded in the previous webinar. Uh, once you log in, you go to the configuration uh, tab. Under the configuration tab, you open the client maps. In the client maps, you can um, uh, either open or create a new client map table. So I've created this uh, F60 webinar client map. In the F60 webinar client map, under the so we don't have any analog inputs, analog outputs, digital outputs, or accumulators. We have placed the four points right under the address 0, 1, 2, and 3. And we just have a point reference on them. Um, you just you can add a point. It's very easy to add a point. So in here, if I have a fifth point, I would have added as point number four, and I can put a description for it, or I can delete a point. So this is how a client map works. The, prior, the properties of the client map is defined in here. So what we're doing, we're doing a class one poll every one second. We're doing an integrity poll every three minutes. If you are wondering about um, the, the basically the uh, the timing for these parameters, you can get it from our user's manual uh, uh, from our technical website. Okay. So once you have set up your client map table and you have named it, you would save it, right? In this case, I'm going to save it as my uh, webinar, UF60 webinar XML, right? And then you go under, you go under the connections. In the connections, you would add uh, IED block using the plus uh, icon in here you will put the IP address of the UF60 and you would select the UF60 webinar uh, uh, client map that we just created. Okay. Uh, when all of that's done, uh, you can save your configuration and commit it. So now if I go into my devices, I can see that the device is black. There is 245,000 communications between the D400 and the UR relay. If we go into the point summary, like you know from the previous webinar, then we can go into the details of the point summary. So under the details, I go to the digital input. And now when we do a change on the UR relay, you can see it. So point number one or contact input number five is on, point number two is on, point number three is on, point number four is on, right? In the same manner, we can turn it to off. So point number one is off, point number two is off, Point number three is off, point number four is off. Okay, if we want to display it graphically, so we can go to our graphical display. And I built the graphical display, as I said in the previous webinar, under the graphical HMI creator. I just need to open my graphical display, open the uh, HMI, and now I can see the points in this one. So I can go switch number five is on, switch two is on, three is on, five. 
and then we go back switch one is off three, two is off three is off five is off hopefully this gave you a very um, good understanding of the client map table and how this client map can be used for every other device so when you add another device to your substation which have the same criteria you don't have to create the client map again you can reuse the client map and just go under your configuration under your connections just add an extra connection use the same client map and that client map became uh, a template that you can always use it for the same device thank you